I always felt like food and music. I mean, what a great life I've had. I've been able to do both and have a career at both. Hopefully both put a smile on people's faces, you know, between the chocolate and the, and the music. This is the story of a candy queen who was once a girl from Cornfield County. On the long running Hee Haw show, that is. For several years, Mackenzie Colt was a Hee Haw honey and aspiring songwriter before pursuing her other dream of making candy. There weren't a lot of women, especially in Nashville, doing something like that. And I always felt like my, my experience in show business kind of prepared me to go out and sell my, my, my food. In a way, Coates Candy all started in 1984 with this little confection called Gooey Butter. That was my first product that I was able to sell. Um, the Honey Baked Ham Store ordered 500 of these desserts, and so I was in business. When that truck backed up to pick up those 500 desserts, I was more thrilled than the years I was on stage. For an encore, she introduced the ever-popular Colts Volt, and the repertoire grew to about 40 different candies and desserts, all made for wholesale only for about 30 years. In 2014, Mackenzie, who went from the stage to the stove, went to the store with her first retail presence here in the trendy Gulch area of Nashville. It was not the Gulch uh, 20 years ago. Uh, now it's become this hip urban area. And so the, the uh, neighborhood has changed. Um, people started knocking on the door every day wanting to know if they could buy something. And I thought, hmm. Maybe I should take advantage of this and uh, open a little storefront because I have 10,000 square feet here. So I did, and I, I, I didn't even know how to take their money at first. I was dealing with cash now or credit cards, and I'm used to, uh, I was used to wholesale. Thank you. So it's been a work in progress, but we are, I'm really happy with the store now and delighted to meet all of my customers. To keep up with retail and wholesale orders, the production room stays humming several days a week. On this day, the main attraction was baby truffles, sort of a bite-sized version of a Colt's Bolt. People for years said, oh, I love the Colt's Bolt, but I feel so guilty when I eat the whole thing, but I can't help it. So I thought, well, I'll make a little bite-sized version. And what ends up happening is people end up eating more because they think it's so little that <laughs> they eat two or three. Custom blended peanut butter is fed into this machine that compresses it and turns out perfect little forms before each one gets a fresh roasted almond. And it's all natural. There's no hydrogenated oils. I, I have a peanut butter that we make that is so delicious. Next, each piece gets a chocolate coating on the bottom to create a firm base before marching on to this station to finish up the chocolate vat. Would you like to taste one right off the line? This has got to be a special treat. Mm. Mm. Can I just live here? <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> Coach Candy has grown along with downtown Nashville, with candy products now sold at sports and entertainment venues, and with desserts in demand at places like Music City Center. And the desserts are half my business. I think part of it is that I just, uh, I love both of them so much that I want to do both. I, I'm not limiting myself to just one. Whether it's smoked chocolate bars or handmade butter grams, for Mackenzie, it's all about consistency, from the ingredients to the complete process. You know, it, there's no secret. It is just doing the best you can every single day and keeping an eye on that. It's the process, the whole process, from the beginning to the end. You know, I, I like to say, this sounds silly, but everything has everything to do with everything. As a nod to her professionalism, McKenzie has earned certification as a 100% women-owned business. It's, you know, proving that you are, it's a woman-owned business, and, um, you know, they consider women-owned businesses uh, diversity, part of the diversity program. And so it's important, if that is true, and that is what your business is about, that you um, sign up for that and become certified. Okay, no sweet smell of success cliches here, but Mackenzie Coates' candy career story is impressive. And if and when your sweet tooth lures you to this store, she'll gladly answer all of your questions. Just don't ask which one is your favorite.